Today I'll show you how I earned over 300,000 avias using these four cards. Now a disclaimer first, I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice, this is simply what I did to earn this much avias in the past 12 months. I made a video previously on the best sign up strategy for American Express bonuses. Go watch that video if you haven't seen that yet, but in this video I'll show you what I did using that strategy. Step 1. So first step was I waited for a decent sign up offer on the American Express gold card. This often fluctuates between 20k and 30k bonus points. The bonus points can be converted into avias and for the purposes of this video I'll assume that's what you're doing as that's exactly what I did. So in my case I signed up for the American Express gold card which is fee free for the first year and proceeded to spend £3,000 in the first three months to trigger the 30000 bonus. Now that also came along with the um, addition of 3,000 avias for the actual spend itself. So that netted me a total of 33,000 avias. Step two. Now once I signed up, I then referred my wife for her own American Express gold card and I proceeded to do the same. Um, because I it was a referral, I received 9,000 points and she received the higher offer of 33,000 points plus the 3,000 for the actual spend itself. The total avias combined was 78,000 avias. Step three, I then signed up to the British Airways American Express Premium Plus card. Now that does come with a 250 pound fee. Um, now usually I would have got my wife to refer me, but at the time they had an exclusive offer on directly on the British Airways website where you would get 70,000 avias points. Now this was much higher than the usual 35,000 offer that they normally have. So I, then, I proceeded to sign up myself and my wife directly on the website for that. The spend required on each card is £3,000 um, for the first three, or well, within the first three months, and that triggers the um, 70,000 avias, plus you get 3,000 or about 4,500 avias for the actual spend itself. So that's a combined total between me, myself and my wife, so this is using two cards, that's a combined total of 149,000 avias add to the previous total earned from the two gold cards we get a total of 227,000 avias. Now step four now you might be thinking that's still short of the 300,000 avias that I mentioned earlier well this is what I did next to get to that um, 300,000 figure. As the BA cards fees was essentially a sunk cost so there's 250 pound each the best way to recoup that um, was by aiming to trigger the two for one voucher that they offer. Now this requires a annual spend of £10,000 on each card. Now what you get for that is essentially a voucher which entitles you to either half price avias if one person is travelling or essentially two avias seats for the price of one. As I had already spent £3,000 per card, I just needed to spend another £7,000 um, within the next 12 months to trigger those vouchers. So that's 7,000 on each card, so a total of 14K. Across both cards, that netted me a total of 21,000 actual avias for, the, for that spend itself. Add that to the previous total, that brings me to 248,000. Still about 50K short of the 300,000 avias mark. Now the next part is a bit difficult to track because essentially, in order to hit those £10,000 targets, which I would say is quite high for any kind of normal spending, um, for any normal person really, and I had to do that for two cards, um, I essentially had to channel all my spend, all my extended family spend via both of those cards. Now what I didn't realise was that I actually overshot the spend requirement and actually spent a lot more than I needed to, but the benefit of that was that I earned um, a lot more obvious than I would have imagined that I would have otherwise. Within that mix, there's also some referrals that I um, referred my friends and family for. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I think there was two or three referrals within that. So that extra spend plus the referrals brought the grand total up to 300,000 avias. So that's how I got 300,000 avias in less than 12 months. Now, I've already booked some flights with that using the two companion vouchers. I'm actually going to Dubai later on this year. So I guess some would argue that probably isn't the best use, but it's a place that my family has wanted to go to and it just seemed the most sensible use 
of the two for one companion vouchers. Um, obviously, the further you go, the more obvious saving you'll make, but again, you'll need more obvious overall. And even after all that, I still have about 200,000 avias left, which will keep me going for the next few years. I will do another video on um, avias routes and some sweet spots that you can get on particular avias routes. But for now, I know that my avias are banked on my British Airways account and I can actually cancel these cards, which I have done. Now, the reason for cancelling that is essentially you aren't eligible for sign up bonuses until you're essentially classed as a new customer. Now, to be classed as a new customer, you need to have not been an American Express customer for the past two years. So I've canceled at the um, end of December 2023. And basically, I'll have to wait two years before essentially starting this whole cycle of sign up bonuses again. And hopefully by then, I would have drained my IVS account ready to replenish it with new sign up bonuses. Now, one warning I should end on is if you're not good at managing your finances, keeping up payments, paying on time, this isn't for you. Even missing a payment or essentially um, incurring interest charges will wipe out any potential savings or any potential, potential value that you will get from Avios. But again, as I said at the start of the video, this isn't financial advice. This is simply what I did. If this video has been useful, then do give it a like and do subscribe for more helpful videos like this in the future.